Hey guys, Raptor Squad member JP Carnotaur here. Hey guys, Raptor Squad member Axel here today. And today, it is officially one day left until Jurassic World finally hits the theaters after 14 years. It will hit the majority of the world's theaters tomorrow. After all this long waiting, the movie is finally here. And we are so ex excited to finally see it as an official sequel to the old original trilogy, and I can pretty much speak for everybody here, but neither can they, and it's gonna be, s it's just amazing, so, you wanna go ahead and, uh, share your thoughts, Nick, on everything? So, even if this movie does suck, I'm gonna see it multiple times, I mean, I think a lot of our fans, uh, you know, all you guys, even us, we've waited for this film for years. And it's hard to believe that back in, let's say, 2008, just give it an estimate, you know, we were looking, where's Jurassic Park 4, where's Jurassic Park 4? And we got kind of hope when Jurassic Park 3D was announced. And most of the time when they release 3D movies, they kind of have a plan for a sequel. They kind of just, they, put, they bring this out to the public to see, to kind of get their interest spiked in the movie again. And that's what happened. So, I mean, I, I just cannot wait to sit down in my seat tomorrow in the theater and the Universal logo pans across the screen and the film starts. I, I don't know about you guys, but it, it's going to be probably one of the biggest and most exciting moments in my life for, you know, my life now. And... It just sucked because a lot of this movie has been spoiled already for the other people that have seen it. And uh, just so you guys know, there might be a few spoilers that we talk about in this video. So just be careful when watching. So I'm going to hand it back to you, Axel. Okay, so also, I forgot to mention when we were starting this video. But uh, today, me and I are kind of going to be speculating and discuss the ending of the Jurassic World. And kind of leading up to an eventual sequel, depending on how well Jurassic World will be doing in the box office, uh, and how much money it will be doing. And also, like Nick said, there will probably be a lot of spoilers contained in this video, so we're not sure if it will be plot breaking or not. So, I highly advise you guys, if you don't want to get spoiled or get your film ruined for you, and uh, get surprised, I suggest you either Exit the video right now, or I'm gonna put a, right now a timestamp in the video down below, so you can go go ahead and um, scroll further up into this part in the video. Because uh, I totally understand, I, I don't want to ruin the movie for you guys, and even does Nick. So if you want to, if you don't want to get a spoil, like the major spoilers uh, we're gonna be discussing in this video. But by all means, go to this timestamp. But other than that. Let's dive into this discussion, and like I said, a spoiler warning. So about the um about the ending, you want to go first, or should I do it, Nick? I'll go first if you want. Doesn't okay, matter. Good. All right. So guys, sadly enough, uh, someone spoiled the movie for me a few days ago. And it turns out the leaks were true. So I do know what happens in the film, but as much as I want to spill my guts to you guys and tell you what happens, I'm not going to do that. Basically, uh, I'm just going to go over a brief amount, maybe not even any spoilers whatsoever. But I'm thinking the end of the film is apparently the last 20 minutes is like cinematic brilliance. That's, that's what I've been hearing. This film is this this is all what this film is leading up to. The final fight, I don't know about you guys or how you'll enjoy it, but it's unlike anything we have seen before in the franchise. And let's just say those rumors that Rexy's gonna get some help from some old friends, well, those are true. I don't wanna say anything else though, because I do want you guys to be surprised. If you do have any questions about the film, I could give you guys yes or no answers uh, if you put them in the comment section down below, but I don't want to spoil anything. So anyway, the fight's going to be absolutely amazing. 
I'm sure you guys are going to be very happy with the outcome. And I'm thinking the end of the film... Now, I don't know about this part, so these aren't spoilers. The end of the film, I'm predicting, may show either the people getting evacuated off the island, maybe Gray and um, Zach reuniting with their family. Um, other than that, I don't think we might... I don't, I don't think we're going to see a lot more of the dinosaurs. We do know, based on a leaked picture that leaked a few months ago, I want to say maybe March, that there's a picture of Rexy on a helipad roaring. But that might be one of the final scenes. I'm not sure. But I'm sure at the end of the film, we're going to have a scene that might lead us up to a possible sequel. So what are your thoughts, Axel? Well, I think you just brought up a good point, and you sound up with a lot of things I was going to say, actually. And so, of course, as most of us heard, the fire is going to be happening. And in my opinion, the fire is confirmed. It is happening. And it's going to be an awesome fight. I can't wait to see it. And after that, pretty much most things settles around Isa Nublar. Ray and Zack will be reunited with her family, and possibly Owen and Claire will be hooking up. I don't think we're gonna see a lot of dinosaurs again, except for possibly we ever see Stegoceratops, because it's been. We also had a lot of leaks with the Stego, involving Stegoceratops lately. So it's looking more and more likely every day that we might see it in a sequel. It's not confirmed if we're going to see it in the sequel, but at least we will see it on a monitor, on a computer, in in this film. Um, so, a kind of teasing of another dinosaur, or another kind of story, or a hint of a story for a sequel might be shown towards the new film, and also I would prefer an open-ended, like an open-ended uh, movie, so the the answer for the film is, is not obvious, like the story, the ending of the film is not obvious, like something still le leaves you on the edge of your seat and wondering either what's gonna happen or making you want more for the film. How do you feel about that, Nick, an open-ended ending? I, I think that'll be good. I I think that's how a film like this should end. Mm -hmm. One thing I will say is the Arlix rumor was all BS. That that's not gonna happen. I will tell you guys that much. Um, yeah, that was a lie. We don't know. Yeah, we we really don't know about how the film's gonna end. But I think with a franchise as big as Jurassic Parks. It needs to have more films because Jurassic World is – this day and age is Jurassic Park. And this film could possibly have started another trilogy. I think we do need to see that because it's, uh, it's definitely going to spark a lot of kids' imagination once again with dinosaurs. I mean over the past few years, there has been nothing but superhero movies you know, coming out and – Dinosaurs have been neglected, and you know, basically, most of the action movies in today's day and age are uh, disaster movies, uh, superhero movies, and stuff. But I think by bringing back some of these older dinosaur franchises like Jurassic Park, and now we have Jurassic World, it's gonna make a lot of people want more. And we already know that Jurassic World 2 is in the making, so. I'm sure this film is going to have to lead, like, give you some kind of feeling that there will be another film coming out. That's it for me, Axel. Okay, and uh, yeah, about, more about the open, uh, open ended, uh, or. Oh, yeah, open ended ending. I think for a Jurassic Park movie. I think that works very effectively. It kind of ended like that in, in uh, JP3, and not really in the other second ones, but I think it would be 
it will work very good for for Jurassic World. And also, like you said, dinosaurs need more attention and kind of like uh, show interest these days because in a situation that the all the JP movies kind of died down, it also felt like the culture and interest for dinosaurs also kind of died down. Like a lot of people are enough 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 people aren't interested in it. I. I, I think we need them more, and uh, it is a big possibility that uh, a lot of people are gonna get uh, in interested more and more in dinosaurs, uh, just like in, uh, after first Jurassic Park, and uh, I don't see why it wouldn't, and if it wouldn't, that would be stupid matters. But I'm also very curious, if there is a sequel, what the actual storyline will be for I'm very curious about that. Really, I really am curious about that. Yeah, that is a very big uh, speculation kind of thing right there. I mean, they've had pretty much anything you can think of about having a park being open, taken done by Jurassic World 1. Maybe it could be like the Lost World, where they go back to the island and attempt to start things back up. Yeah, and oh, and also in terms of a sequel, I'm pretty, pretty much 99% sure what dinosaur you want to a sequel, Nick. But would you like to go in more detail about that, and like what dinosaurs to expect in the sequel? Well, as far as dinosaurs in the sequel go, I'm gonna say that the whole hybrid idea is here to stay. I think that's a good thing, though. I mean, I don't want. A movie with all hybrids, but I do like the idea, and I, I'm a huge fan of the Chaos Effect toy line, but I just want to see new species. I'm tired of the old stuff constantly being reused over and over and over again. I mean, it's nice to see some of the old dinosaurs, but I don't want to focus on them anymore. If they're side dinosaurs, you know, that's fine, but we have to bring in new species, whether it's new species of herbivore, like Therizinosaurus, or uh, carnivore, like Carnotaurus, you know, bring those in. Those are unusual dinosaurs that nobody knows about. I mean, you can walk up to anybody and say, can you name a few dinosaurs? The first thing you're going to hear is uh, T-Rex, uh, Brontosaurus, uh, Velociraptor. They don't even know the Brontosaurus isn't real, and it's actually an Apatosaurus. But yeah. my, my main point here is, you know, they have to open, you know, the chance of more creatures like on the website we have metricanthosaurus um microceratus those are you could ask anybody they're gonna be like what is that you know they don't know what that is add that into the film and i think that'd be really cool i i'd love to, any new species is fine with me like dimorphodon mosasaurus and you know i kind of wish they added more than just those two new species but I mean, not including Indominus Rex, since it's a hybrid, but they chose some really great creatures to add. You know, they're, they're not boring stuff, but I, I really feel like the franchise needs to go out and add a lot more of variation of dinosaurs. One thing I will say, though, is God, never let them put in an Ice Age creature. Well, not as the main focus, at least. Uh, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't mind if maybe there were a few, but not as, like, big as a T-Rex. Oh, no. Never. And, uh, uh, well, overall, I wouldn't mind if they are background creatures, as long as they're not focused, but I'd rather keep it out of the franchise, because Jurassic Park belongs to dinosaurs, of course, and... I highly agree with you. We, the the general audience, they they need to learn and get introduced to unusual dinosaurs, like you said, Carnotaurus. That's a perfect example. I really want to see Carnotaurus. Like T Rex is my favorite dinosaur, as most of you guys know, and everybody loves T Rex. But I I pretty much love all dinosaurs, and Carnotaurus is also one of my favorite dinosaurs. It's it's a really unique looking creature, and I, it's a really, 
underrated dinosaur, and I really think he needs so much more. He deserves so much more attention than than people give it credit for. I mean, they might recognize it if they see pictures or illustrations of it, but uh, nine out of ten people uh, I ask we would probably say, just say uh, what what is that if I would ask if they know Carnotaurus. Uh, everybody knows. Uh, who T-Rex is. Like, it's pretty much the only dinosaur they can think of. Most people, I mean, of course some people know more than others, but I really think people should learn more about unusual dinosaurs, and because we already have not all the classic dinosaurs, like, like T-Rex again, Velociraptor, Triceratops, a powder source, brachiosaurus, all those, I mean, I love all of them, don't get me wrong, but because we already have seen them so much, we also pretty much know everything there is to know about them, and we are interested in unusual dinosaurs to learn more about them, and see more of them, because we have seen so much of the, of the classic ones, they are all, really are so famous and iconic. We want to see more of, like, ex for example, Carnotaurus, Dilophosaurus, um, Rugops. Rugops is also a, another interesting dinosaur, I think. And uh, Metrocampasaurus and uh, also speaking of Metrocampasaurus, we have all these new additions we have in Jurassic World. I'm actually kind of more doubting that we will see if we're Super Mimus, Baryonyx, or Metrocampasaurus, sadly. I love all the new additions we have. Uh, like, we. Every, everybody pretty much yeah, anyway know the Pyrus P the four, so I think that's nice. And I love the Mosasaur, I'm a huge Mosasaur fan. I I love the Dimorphodon and the the Edmontosaurus was well, nice, but it hasn't really. I never really been a huge fan of uh, Edmontosaurus, but uh, I don't ha hate any dinosaurs at all. Just to make that clear, and I think if they all great additions but uh, let's see you I can count it to around like four new additions to Jurassic World and I kind of doubt that we will see more or uh, how, how, how do you feel about that Nick? you think we will have more additions to Jurassic World? Uh, you mean in the first film or in Jurassic World 2? the first one um Basically, from the leaks that I've heard, uh, there's really no new dinosaurs that we haven't seen in the trailers. There is one dinosaur, I'm going to tell you guys this, one dinosaur that we see near the end of the film that a lot of us wanted to see, but it's a hologram. That's all I'm going to say. And... Uh, you know, you guys, you guys, trust me, you're going to see this creature, and you're not going to be disappointed. You guys are going to be like, oh, God, yes. But as far as I know, no new species for this film. And that's kind of sad because they had so many cool creatures on the website, they could have at least added a pack of maybe micro serratus to go in the trees or something like that. They didn't have to do that much with them. But just a cameo appearance of some of those dinosaurs would have been great. Exactly. That would have pleased with fast enough. Would really... Just as... I'm sorry, go ahead, Axel. No, you go ahead, that's okay, I didn't mean it. What really surprised me, though, is in the leaks that I've heard, we haven't heard anything about Stegoceratops even having a cameo in the film, which it has, as you guys saw in our previous video the other day. So that kind of gives me hope that maybe, just maybe, there will be some other cameo appearances somewhere. That's very interesting, and I would love to see, like you said, just a simple cameo, like we saw with Ceratosaurus and JP3, like that would have been enough. I think the Mosasaurus is going to have a big role, and I love that if that's true. I don't think we'll see a whole lot with the Pterosaurus, but uh, that's pretty much the only new species uh, I think we're going to see. But one thing also, for each JP film we've got, 
we we've also had a new dinosaur species in the film, and I love that. And of course, I'm ninety nine point nine percent sure we will see new species in a sequel. Sequel, if we get a sequel. Now, one thing I want to ask you, Axel, and you know the fans out there too, is now let's say by some slim chance. Now we do know that Doctor Wu is kind of a bad guy; that he's he's kind of like a mad scientist. Now, what if somehow he actually doesn't die in the film, and he escapes with like some more hybrid embryos, like more genetically engineered dinosaur embryos? Would you be happy, or would you be okay with them possibly having, you know, in the sequel, a few more hybrids, like Stegoceratops, possibly uh, Carnoraptor, maybe a few Pterosaur hybrids? How, how do you feel about that? Hmm. Very interesting. Uh well, as, as as long as we don't get too many and they don't look, look completely ridiculous, I'll, I'll be fine with that. Like, I think the Indominus Rex is done perfectly for Jurassic World. And if we get something similar to that, I'm, I'm completely fine with it. As long as it's not like... Uh... As long as it doesn't look like Sharknado or Piranaconda, I'm fine with that. But I personally prefer to see dinosaurs that have been part of a fossil record that actually existed. Yeah, I mean, I think we can all say that. I mean, as cool as the hybrid idea is, it's still not necessarily what we want to see. In my opinion, I'd rather have Carnotaurus over Stegoceratops any day. I agree. Speaking of the dinosaurs, another one I'd love to see, even with feathers, is the Utahiranus. That would be cool. Oh yeah, I think that's a really unique dinosaur, and pretty much no one knows what that is. I think it, needs, it deserves more attention. Oh yeah. You will walk up to someone in public and be like, Excuse me, do you know what a Utahiranus is? They'd probably be like, You mean Tyrannosaurus Rex? <laughs> exactly. Like every, probably every single person I've been talking to about dinosaurs, I can't think of one who doesn't know what T-Rex is. Yeah. I love this. Oh, oh, and also, I I love to see Doctor Wu again in a Jurassic World sequel. But I kind of doubt. He he will be in it, and two reasons uh, for that is one is because, according to rumors and leaks I've heard, it's uh, he might die in Jurassic World, it's, and it's not confirmed. We don't know yet, but uh, let's play around with, with that thought and say he he doesn't. I kind of feel like uh, this might sound weird, but he he maybe is too old. To return for sequel after Jurassic World. I mean, I'm, I really like that he will return, return for this film, but after that, it, also, with this new trilogy, it really is a new era, and we kind of we kind of need more new actors, and uh, I think pretty much everybody, like Chris Pratt, Bryce Dallas Howard, Nick Robinson. I assume gives Rafael Khan. All those were perfect additions to Jurassic World because we kind of needed a, a new generation of actors for a new movie, new characters and stuff like that. And so far, I don't, I don't have a problem with the casting. I might change my mind if I don't like a performance of the film after I've seen it. Yeah, I can see what you mean. Like. Our good friend uh, Jurassic Collectibles today posted a video talking about his pre-review of the film. And what he's worried about is if they made this film kind of co uh, comedic. Like they, they added a lot of jokes in this film, especially with having Chris Pratt as an actor. And I personally yeah. don't think that that's a great idea. I mean, 
in Jurassic Park, they did have jokes, which is good. You know, that's fine by me, but I don't want it to a point where it's too much. I do agree. I saw a little bit of his, uh, like, a pre-review of the film. And, I mean, as long as it, like you said, as long as it's not too much, I'm completely fine with that. I, and I kind of feel like it, if there is, like, a kind of comedy and jokes and stuff like that in the film, and especially because uh, Chris Pratt is heavily, like, referred to Star Lord, of course, uh, after Guards of the Galaxy. I mean, that was a huge hit, and I love that, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, it kind of doesn't match completely in Jurassic World. But with the jokes, with Chris Pratt, if, say, if he does joke around, I don't know if he will, but let's say if he would, it would kind of be a re kind of relieving situations for probably a younger audience if they feel like the movie is going to be scary, because we know that the movie is going to be scary. So that all the jokes might be kind of relieved in a scary situation, if that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying I don't want to be funny, because, you know, Chris Pratt's in there. You have to have some comedy. I mean, Chris Pratt's known for that. But what I'm saying is, like, I don't want him to make a joke out of everything. Yeah, exactly. And according to the information we have on Owen so far, we heard that he's going to be a very serious character. And I think you saw when I posted this on Instagram a few months back, Nick, I kind of posted a review of the exclusive MTV clip. And I said that I didn't actually expect this kind of humor from Owen. I don't mind it, but uh, it was actually unexpected for me. Yeah, I agree with you there. I mean, you know, it was, it was nice to see him laughing about stuff, but at the same time, it's kind of yeah. like, you know, we don't need too much humor in this film. I, I really want them to fake, focus more on the dinosaurs and the, the human characters. I can see what you I see what you mean, but I I personally will like the mix. Yeah. And one of the reasons. Yeah. Oh, sorry, bro. No, I agree with you there. A mix is good, not too much of a focus on the dinos or the humans. Yeah, exactly. And one of the reasons is because. There are new characters that we're supposed to get introduced to. And another thing also which is important is because it seems to be the park is so, so much bigger than the original Jurassic Park. And there are more dinosaurs in this film. It's pretty much like most people say, which I also agree to, of course, it's, it's pretty much Jurassic Park on a bigger, bigger scale. Yeah. Also, so I've been thinking about it sometimes, which I would like to ask you about, Nick, is could we possibly expect some kind of humor with Owen and his raptor training? Um, well, in one of the clips that I've seen of, uh, this was actually released, I think, on, like, a news broadcast or something. It shows mm -hmm. him uh, get, preparing the raptors for the Indominus, and Blue kind of growls at him and he goes ha ha yeah you know i'm not scared i'm not afraid of you you don't scare me yeah i saw that too actually yeah so i mean you kind of have some humor there yeah exactly and i have to say i love a clip when he is introducing his raptors to the kids and when gray asks who's the alpha and we kind of Kind of charming comedy, or he replies saying, "You're looking at a kid." I love that. Yeah. And we possibly could see some reference to the first film where he maybe said, maybe even says, "Clever girls" at some point, like when training or when we're possibly hunting down the Indominus Rex. But after the after I saw this Raptor Hunt clip. We can clearly see, especially in that shot at least, that that's a really serious scene. Like, like he almost almost seems angry when he says, uh, when he's uh, um, warning his raptors to back off. 
which I, and I thought that was good in one way because that was a really serious situation and he's to, he has to show them that he's not messing with them and he is serious like uh, I'm serious I'm, I'm not joking around like uh, that's the kind of uh, expression he says yeah when he like when he's he seems to be kind of angry when he says about it hey hey what do I just say yeah Delta I see you back up Yeah. So, one good thing, though, I'd like to mention real fast. This is really off topic. But, guys, um, I just found out that I can get the app now, the Jurassic World app on uh, Apple devices. It's for, um, I think it said for 5 and 5C and iPad 4. So now you can get the game. So, yeah, sorry if that was really off topic, but uh, just I just downloaded okay. it, so I'm really excited. But anyway, I yeah, pretty much covered all my faults on the ending for Jurassic World, I think. Is there anything more you would like to share, Nick? Um, basically, here's what I'm going to say to you guys. I haven't seen the ending yet. I've read about it. I know what's going to happen. This fight, this ending, is going to be something that you guys are never going to forget. We've talked about predictions on how this film is going to end, what it's going to be like. We were no, nowhere close. A few things that we said were kind of right there, but this is going to be the kind of ending that when you get the DVD, you're going to the end. You want to watch the end before you watch the whole film. You're going to fast forward to that specific scene. You thought the Jurassic Park 3 fight was intense. You haven't seen anything yet. That's all I'm going to say. Um, now, one thing just to tell you guys real fast. Tomorrow I will be seeing the film. I'm going to be uploading a non-spoiler review and a spoiler review. Non-spoiler is going to come first for you guys because I'm sure that you know you guys don't want to be spoiled until you see the film. Uh, non-spoiler will be uh, or spoiler will be soon after that. So you know, stay tuned for that. But I just can't wait to share my thoughts with you guys. So that's it for me, Axel. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm also very much good, so... And also, I'll be seeing the movie on Saturday, guys, so I will do the same thing as Nick, I'll be doing a spoiler and non-spoiler review for you guys. i share my thoughts on the movie after some time after I watch the movie on Saturday. Either right after I watch the film or the day after that, I don't know yet, but very soon, so stay tuned and subscribe. So, on that, I think we're pretty much good, and I just can't wait for Saturday. And, uh, yeah, other than that, hope all you guys enjoy the film, or whatever you watch it, and this is Rapper Squad member Axel signing off. This is Rapper Squad member JP Carnes for signing off. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you soon.